Welcome to another Cisco training video. My name is Trevor, and today I'm going to show you how to import a Cisco ASA firewall into GNS3. I'm also going to show you how to connect to the console port of the Cisco ASA firewall and connect to the command line interface. Let's begin. So by far the most tricky step in importing a Cisco ASA firewall into GNS3 is being able to successfully unpack that Cisco 8.02 bin file and turn it into the intranet and kernel files. Since I had so much difficulty unpacking that bin file successfully and from what I've read online that's where people have their main problems I'm gonna go ahead and provide a link to a safe download that will have this 802 intrad file and kernel file in the description of my video below. So at this point I'm expecting you to have already gone to the link that I provided and downloaded the initrid file and the kernel file for Cisco ASA 8.02. Once you have those files, you need to open up GNS3 after successfully fully installing. Go to Edit and Preferences. In the Preference section, you need to go to Kimu and you need to go to the ASA tab. The first step you need to do is fill out the identifier name. I like to put the device name in this. In this case, I'm going to do ASA 8.02. The next step is to provide the Kimu options. This is very crucial. So the Kimu option syntax is very sensitive. Make sure you have it typed exactly how I have it here. I'll go ahead and provide the syntax in the descriptions of my video below. If you don't have this typed exactly correct, the console session will go into a restart mode and restart every five seconds. Make sure you have dash no dash quit, there's no spaces in between that, then a space dash no dash ACPI, no space in the middle, then a space dash VGA space none space dash VNC space none. I'm going to go ahead and copy this syntax and paste it in my Kimu options section right there. Next, you need to provide the directory that your initrid file is located in. The initrid file is the file that has a .gz as the file extension on the end. You need to identify the directory that your kernel file is located in. The kernel file is the file that has the .kernel file extension on the end. Choose Save to save your profile and click OK. You should now be able to choose the firewall icon and select the ASA and put it into your environment. In GNS3, you have the ability to simulate whether a device is on or off. If you look right here in the topology summary, you'll notice that the this red icon next to your ASA is showing that your device is powered off. You need to right click on the device and choose start. Once you choose start, the icon is turned to green and you have the ability to right click and choose console. Once you get to a menu that's identifying whether you want to go into single context mode or multiple context mode, go ahead and choose option 2, which is identifying that you want to go into single context mode for this one time only. You now have console CLI connectivity to your ASA. Cisco default in order to get into privilege mode is no password, so just press enter once you ha are prompted for the password. You now have the ability to look at your device's default running configuration. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.